Hi, we're here at the Dervais Family Urban Homestead, and I'm Wendy, and here we have um, Jordan Dervais. Jordan, can you tell us a little bit about where we are and what we're looking at? This is the bunny farm of Urban mm -hmm. Homestead, I guess. This is where all the animals are, the, the city fight, what we call the city fight farm animals, and this is the area we set up for them to... Um, you know, integrate with each other and um, have a safe place to be. So this is the home, and um, out there is the garden. And um, I'm sitting on a goat house right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can have chickens and ducks in the back. Great. Blackberries untying my apron. <laughs> and let's see, who do we have over here? This is Anais Gervais. Hi, Anais. Hi. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your ducks? We haven't talked about them yet. Oh, the ducks, they're fun. Um, what are their names? We have Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy <laughs> back here, and they love, they're land ducks, they're an heirloom breed of ducks, so they were basically um, bred to give um, eggs and not necessarily need so much water, so they're, they're content with just a little, you know, bit of water to, you know, preen and bathe, but they don't need the, the, the regular, you know, water for like, you know, what you think of ducks would need, so, and their eggs are very um, high in fat, and so they're excellent to bake with, and, and, um, and they don't go, and the ducks are actually, they don't go broody as much as the chickens, so they're, they're a little bit more reliable on their eggs. Our bantam chickens, which are a quarter, um, quarter uh, smaller, a quarter size smaller than, you know, regular chicken. Mm -hmm. These are our duck eggs, and... This is our standard chicken egg, which is slightly green tinged because she's so, uh, like a variety of like an Easter egg chicken. So great. That's from this morning. Of course, oh, there's wow. more that's in there. This morning. But okay, beautiful. Can you describe to me what um, the homestead is? Uh, homestead is, it's uh, almost like a mini farm in the city. It's got um, all the elements of a farm, but in minuscule scale. And um, we have out here, we have the garden and where we grow uh, 6,000 pounds of our produce. And it provides about, let's say, about 90% of our diet in the summertime. And when you grow food like that, there's a lot of waste and green waste, and there's a lot of bugs and everything. So we introduce the animals to complete the cycle. And um, these guys get a lot of the garden waste, and they also get kitchen waste. So um, everything extra from the garden, everything extra from the kitchen goes here. They create soil, and we send it back out. Anae, so you use their compost. Um, on your vegetables here, right? That's correct. So How do you collect it? Yeah, what we'll do is once or twice a year, see the, the shavings and the mulch and their and their comp, their waste. We'll dig this out. You so you can notice it goes high. Mm -hmm. And so we're, you can see how we're low and this is high. So we'll dig all that out and that will be next year's soil uh. or put into raised beds. So um, we basically have our own little soil making uh, machines back here. Eat, um, all vegetables and grasses. Right. And so they're... And grains. And, and grains. grains. And bee bugs. Too. And bugs. And bugs. Yeah. <laughs> Worms. But it's all just... Um, you can put it right on your vegetables. Soil that came from the coop, our animal enclosure, and we use it in our containers and in the raised beds. We have about over 50 raised beds and a couple hundred uh, self-watering containers. And um, we find that the soil is um, just much healthier can, and, and absorbs more water. Um, just because of these guys, they're our pet organic composting system. So. Let's show the composting system yeah, over here. Here he is. Composting system. Mm -hmm. And here's the other lady composting system here in her barn.